personally think he dropped down. Tried to go for the neutral air, which is what we had been seeing him do quite hey, a listen, bit. Regardless of whatever it was, it put Quit to the loser side. We got to find out who's going to be fighting him, though. We got Leon versus Silvio right now. I, I honestly could not tell you this matchup could have happened at all in this bracket, let alone on the loser's side. <laughs> and a hell of a matchup to give us, too. You yeah. got one of the most renegade oh. Bowsers to walk this earth, and then one of the finest performances I've seen out of Silvio's hero. I mean, Silvio's hero. So, there are some Xenos where he just turns up, and this is absolutely one of them. I don't know if it is the best performance he's ever had, but it is certainly up there. And now he has a lead against Lee. Oh, yeah. oh. that's big damage. That's, <laughs> that's big damage. <laughs> that's a big stock. Silvio now living at only 90%. I mean, not only 90% against Bowser is still uh, what we in the business call a bad place to be. Uh, definitely. Don't Especially ask me what business that is. But. That's the business aside, these Landon. Will Accelerado get him to safety? Ooh. Yes, sir. He's not going to be dying from that, and this is good considering he's already kind of lowish on MP. The fact that Accelerado would help him recover to the stage without having to burn so many of his options, but hey, he's going to be dead. That's he's very so dead. dead. Only finding, I think, a Nair, was it, in order to get that little bit of damage? Finding a more runaway stock is... I think that's going to be Silvio's claim to fame in this set. Like, you just need a completely overwhelmed Bowser. You've got the disjoints to do it. Definitely has the damage to keep even, but I don't think you can really count on being able to jank out Bowser Ooh. when it comes to that front. Takes so much damage. I actually think that Leon has hit him three times, and this is pretty much an even game. <laughs> but yeah, I, like Bowser being able to put out big buttons is, is this character's deal. I like think that's always been his shtick. <laughs> but here on the right circumstances, he can dish it back out just fine. Yeah, but Silvio, it feels like he has to engineer those circumstances for himself. Leon is not just going to give him the chance. Never mind. Yeah? <laughs> his hands are yeah? Through. Turns his back to him when he really should not. And now, ooh, Silvio, once again, the Accelerado being able to help get him at a disadvantage. You know, we were saying before how it can be, it seems like it's kind of hard for him to control in the neutral and in the advantage, but in the disadvantage, it seems so helpful. Oh, definitely. You have, like, so much more of a mix-up off the stage from it. Not finding the mark. He's got oomph. So this combo going to be very important. Two fairs find their mark. Flying uh, press off the plat. Yep, that's that. That was a very fast game one. I was I, I was going to mention it. I mean, it makes sense. It's a Bowser and a hero. Both these characters are not scant on damage. And Bowser definitely is not scant on kill power. So these are very quick games. The question is whether it's going to be a quick 2-0 or not. Because I mean, That one's salty. I don't know if I can give you. Yes, this is Leon we're talking about. But that game one was pretty close. Yeah, for a lot of it, it felt like, this is the thing, for a lot of it, it felt like Silvio was in control, getting all this damage. But whenever I see a Bowser lose the beginning of the game and then just completely dominate the second half, to me that's, ah, yes, they basically got fed up with getting hit, figured out their opponent's habits, and are now exploiting them to the fullest. So if you're Silvio, you have to change your habits real quick, because otherwise Leon is just going to absolutely dominate you even worse than before. The pick to town and city, I think, is going to be a very risky pick, because even though Silvio has a lot of kill potential with this stage, especially as we've seen consistently swoosh into uh, an option could work, Bowser has the speed to be able to contest space everywhere you go, and also has a bit more option for killing here off those plats. I will say, I think that part of the... Oh, my. Oh. Uh, a part of the, part of the uh, approach might be the fact that back air will be killing a little bit later considering we have those wider blast zones. We saw that already a little bit. In the end, he died anyway to a forward air. But this might be some survivability that Silvio could need. It is also worth noting that if you're Silvio, you're having, like, a great performance. Ooh. This is, like, one of the best tournaments you've had in a long, long time. And then when you start to get dominated on, your mentality can evaporate if you're not really on top of it. You have a drift in thanks to a cellar at all. Phenomenal return to stage. But Flying Press does its thing, and it's a little less stuck for Silvio. How does he even the playing field? I think I feel like forward there is such a reliable button for Bowser in this matchup. Like he's able to 
navigate the space with relative ease. Well, normally one of the big issues with the late forward air in particular is a pump just thrown out of hitbox. Uh, but Hero, not really known for his fast aerials. Nope. He, he is known for dying to up smash. Yeah, uh, because damn near that's anyone is when, when Leon's in charge of the ledge, it doesn't matter who you are, who you're piloting, and I will get you. And it's a 2-1 that, that it does. So S Silvio had a great run tonight, but Leon making the journey all the way out here. He's not going to be done in by some upstart. No, 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 no. He's going to be making the run back. I believe he was knocked into losers by Quid, and he definitely wants that rematch. And if he makes it to losers finals, which, let's be real here, he very feasibly could, he will have a chance at it. 